from the mind of Jordan Peele, and let me tell you, it's a very twisted one, that's for sure. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Get Out. So Get Out is actually written and directed by Jordan Peele from Key and Peele. And Get Out tells the story of this couple, Allison Williams. She's the one that's taking Daniel Kalguya, who is an African-American man. And he's about to meet her parents for the first time. So uh, they go out for the weekend to the family estate. And that's where Daniel Kalguya does meet her parents. But he's finding now mysterious and very suspicious things things when he's there. Get Out is a film I was personally really interested in because as I said this is written and directed by Jordan Peele. This is the first film he is directing. This is his directorial debut. This isn't the first film he's written though. He did write Keanu last year which I thought was a pretty funny movie. I had a good time with Keanu. I thought it was a solid comedy film. Hopefully Key and Peele could do more movies together in the future. Well I know they did Storks together as well as those wolves but Jordan Peele, I was very interested to see where he could take as far as his directorial debut. It's definitely shown that this guy is a huge horror cinephile, and I really wanted to see this film because of how much I know he loves this genre, and I can respect that. And so after seeing Get Out, I have to say, this movie is a lot of fun. It's actually a very solid directorial debut from Jordan Peele. I was very impressed with Get Out. I had a lot of fun with this film. This is definitely a very smart movie as far as its social commentary regarding racism. That's something Jordan Peele does a very great job at. He does make something that's thought-provoking, that does deal with today's society, but he also doesn't let the message get in the way of having an entertaining time. And that's very nice, honestly. There's a nice balance to it. You could have fun, but there's something to also even think about when watching a film like this. And I think Jordan Peele did that very well when he wrote the script. The writing from Jordan Peele is very creative and as I said in my intro, I said his mind was twisted because where this film goes, when you discover more things as the film is going on, yeah, it's pretty twisted honestly, but I actually was very impressed with not only the script but his direction. His direction was very smooth from beginning to end. A lot of the shots looked really great. I love the cinematography. The cinematography was great and the music to this film was actually very great too. I don't know if Jordan Peele was maybe going for a little bit of the Alfred Hitchcock vibe, but there were moments of this film where I kind of got that Alfred Hitchcock vibe. Like, you could tell he got inspired by some of the more old school horror films when making this film because it's present. The acting is actually really good from everyone. Daniel Kaluuya, he is terrific here. He gives such a good performance. I mean, there's uh, moments where he's charming, but then there's moments where he's very dramatic. He even provides emotion to his character. You believe it. It doesn't feel forced or anything. He was very believable here, and I really was rooting for him. He was a great protagonist, and in horror films, whereas a lot of characters can make stupid decisions, this protagonist actually doesn't make stupid decisions. He's actually a protagonist that makes very smart decisions. And that's a credit to Jordan Peele, because Jordan Peele is aware of the horror cliches that goes on in your usual horror film. So for him to play on with the horror tropes, I was actually very impressed with that. He actually made his character, his protagonist, actually very smart. He had to do some thinking when it comes to the situation that he's in, and I thought it was actually executed very well as far as that plays out. Not to mention that this film has a strong opening. I'm like, wow, the opening to this film is actually very strong. Uh, it definitely did set the tone for the rest of the film. And I don't know how you pronounce his name, but Lil Ray Howery, I believe that's how you pronounce him, he actually plays the best friend of Daniel Kaluuya. He is just so funny for every scene he pops up in this film because the movie is um, serious, really, for the most part. But 
whenever it cuts to him, it adds more of that comic relief to it. Well, I mean, even when Daniel Kaluuya is dealing with certain situations, there's even a bit of that comedy edge to it. Like Jordan Peele, you could tell he wants you to get a little creeped out by it, but he also wants you to laugh at the same time. Allison Williams as the girlfriend is really great. I thought the actors that played the parents, they did a really great job. And the third act in Get Out was crazy. Although I knew where the film was going with the third act, I will say that third act was twisted. It was a lot of fun. I was at the edge of my seat. It was one balls to the wall, crazy ride. That was seriously one hell of a third act. Now the only problems I will say about Get Out is that it does drag by 15 minutes in my opinion. Like the movie does have a great opening. And then when you get to the introduction of Daniel Kaluuya and Allison Williams, that stuff was like nice and all. I was definitely getting into it. I would say once they actually arrive at um, Allison Williams' parents' house, once they arrived, that's when the film started to drag a little bit for me, and I was kind of waiting for the film to get going. Once the film gets going, though, it definitely gets going, but I did feel like once they actually did arrive at the parents' house, the film does start to drag maybe like by 15 minutes. I also will say the film isn't really as scary as the marketing was because from the trailer, I, I was impressed by the trailer because of how scary it looked. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, what the hell is this? But watching the movie, yes, I was a little creeped out, but I wouldn't say I was horrified. There wasn't that one scene where I was like, oh my god, this is horrifying. It was a little creepy, but that's all it, it was. Just a little bit creepy, really. I also do think the twists and turns in this film were all very predictable. There wasn't really anything surprising, to be honest, when it comes to Get Out. I was able to predict every twist and turn that happens, especially in the third act. And the very last scene of the climax, without spoiling anything, I thought it felt a little bit forced and it was a little bit rushed. I still had fun with it, but I couldn't help but feel that last bit, considering that Jordan Peele was even playing on the whole horror trope situation, that last bit honestly did feel a little cliche, and I was just kind of like, okay, that's how you end the climax? All right. But Overall, you guys, I actually had a lot of fun with Get Out. This is a very smart movie. This is a sharply written film by Jordan Peele. It's very well directed. The performances from everyone are really great, and this is a horror film that's done right. Not exactly a scary horror film, but it's a horror film that definitely has you think, especially with the social commentary on racism. Good job, Jordan Peele with your directorial debut. I look forward to what you'll bring in the future. I'm gonna give Get Out three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Jordan Peele's directorial debut, Get Out. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.